Welcome back to another video about the MSP432. Uh, today's project is going to be going over the UART, the UART, or the Universal Asynchronous uh, Receiver Transmitter Module on the MSP432. I have here two boards, uh, only one of them is connected to the computer for power, the other one is just connected using the 5 volt pins. Um, so this board on the left here is my transmitter board, and this board on the right is my receiver board. And what that means is that I can push switch one on this board, this switch here, and it will cause a switch, a, an LED to light up on the other board. And you can see there that's properly operating, so the switch doesn't do anything, just switch one here. And then if I go over and push switch one on this, we can see that nothing is happening, and that's operating as intended. Um, however, there's another configuration that I will, that I'm about to show you that does, uh, enable two-way communication between these two boards. All right, and I am back. I have loaded on a new program to both of these boards before the boards both had a separate transmitter and receiver program, but now they both have the same program on them. Uh, basically, oh, and I've also added on a new wire. You can see it's that yellow wire there. What this has done is this has moved it from a simplex style to a full duplex. Basically, instead of just having the transmitter uh, communicating with the receiver and then nothing else, both of these are now capable of sending signals back and forth to each other. So this will this would take a signal, send it to that. That would take a signal, send it to that. So now there are no more transmitters or receivers. Um, these are all these are both. I guess they're both doing both of them. Uh, so you can see here, if I push switch one on this. It increments a little light on the next one. That's LED2, the RGB LED. You can see that as I push the button, it increments through until it reaches to the, through to the end. It has eight different states. And then if I do the same thing over here on this one, you can see I'll push it and increment through. There we go. Eight. Okay. There we go. So that was eight button presses to get through all those states. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, each one can count independently of the other. I, like, I'll just do that, and then I can... It, they don't really influence each other past, uh, past that. It's just they're using uh, serial communication to push through some data to the other. Um, yeah, and that's just about it for this project. Um, yeah. Hope everyone has a good one.